Working fire conditions. We're going to stretch it at two and a half. Hudson Command, we're in the offensive strategy. Strike a second alarm. Is that a gas one? Engine 36, Medic 32, Battalion Chief 4, Battalion Chief 1, Safety 18, Second Alarm Structure Fire. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the South Metro Fire Rescue PIO vlog and on this episode we're starting off with a second alarm warehouse fire that South Metro's firefighters responded to a couple of weeks ago. This was in a mega size warehouse and although it had a fire sprinkler system, the flames weren't intense enough to activate the sprinkler heads yet so there was still a working fire when crews arrived on scene. We'll start off with some radio traffic and then we'll take you to some helmet cam. One another units responding. It's going to be the UPS distribution center. We have a couple RPs reporting heavy smoke conditions on the inside. I have reports of two vehicles on fire inside of the building. It's going to be on the west side. EVAC is in progress. Okay, I got you. Go ahead and upgrade to confirm. Copy upgrading, and your winds are going to be out of the southwest at 9 at 0312. Dispatch, Agent 44 is on scene. We've got a mega sized warehouse. Nothing showing at this time. We'll be offensive investigating. I'm going to be repositioning when I get a better. All the way. We'll be heading to the northwest corner. We're going to call the south side the alpha side. Copy Agent 44, I'd be on scene of a mega sized warehouse. Nothing showing, you'll be offensive investigating. You're repositioning to the northwest corner. Uh, south side of the location will be the alpha side. 0315. Dispatch, come in. Go ahead. Just completed 360. We do have working fire conditions. We're going to be stretching at two and a half. Come in, just one. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm on scene. I'm on the south side. We're going to call that the alpha side. There is access. There's an open bay door. All soon, command. We'll be an offensive strategy. Give me a can report. And uh, confirming Tower 35 is going to pump that FTC. Negative. I need them to help uh, force doors. Break engine for bump up to this man door that I'm at because we're going to make our attack. So, man, we're going to make our attack from the Bravo side, last door on the Bravo side before the Charlie side. Okay, copy. You're going to make entry on the last door on the Bravo side towards the Charlie side. Tower 35 is going to assist with forcible entry. Great. Tower 45, command. This is Tower 45, go ahead. Yeah, I need you to pump that FTC to get the water. Tower 45, copy. Pump the FTC. Dispatch, District 1. District 1. I have assumed command, we're in the offensive strategy. Strike a second alarm. Command, agent 44. Go ahead. There's a few packages on fire. I don't think we have a vehicle on fire at this time. Okay. Uh, NFY, we got uh, good smoke production on the Alpha side as well. Command, take 35. Go ahead. That's 360. I'm located on the Bravo Charlie Corner with Engine 44. You do have smoke coming also out of uh, Bravo of a extremely large structure. You have can be well ventilated, multiple open uh, bay doors. Look, I copy your engine safety officer. I copy your 360. Ladder 12, 
engine 31, engine 17, engine 41, engine 36, medic 34, medic 32, battalion chief 4, battalion chief 1, safety 18, second alarm structure fire, map page 31, C, Comarque Boulevard and South Peoria Street. Tower 18, ladder 12, engine 31, engine 17, engine 41, engine 36, medic 34, medic 32, battalion chief 4, battalion chief 1, safety 18, second alarm structure 5. How far in besides this? Is this it right here? Yeah, you can see it right there. Okay. Bard and South Peoria Street. Medic 42, yeah. 41 stage. Medic 42, you're going to go on deck for right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's ready for water. Hey, please, you're on deck. 44 Bravo from command, charge line, charge line. Charging two and a half. I'm connected to a dry hydro waiting for water supply, off safe water. We're working on my day today, yeah. Command, Tower 32, level one. Tower 32. Go ahead and uh, soften the building, and we'll start on the throttle side. Cut and soften the throttle side. Command, Med 1, Med 1. Med 1 is the command post. Go ahead, take the 35. 35. Take the 35. These guys have water on the fire. The fire is only about 30 yards inside the structure. Uh, not a lot of opportunity for extension, so we're making good progress. Yeah, if you got water on the fire, you're 30 yards in. What was the second part? There's not a lot of opportunity for extension to combustibles. It's in a pretty open area. Okay, copy. Fire's right here. They got it knocked. Uh, 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 you want to do an inch and three quarter to back that yeah. up and stick? We were supposed to assist with um, that. Get with Netzel first and see what he wants. He's got it out, but I, we've got extension. That's going to be my main concern here pretty quick. Uh, you just got... Uh, and yeah, there it goes again. Is that a gas line? Yep. You got tanks. 32. All right. Get the fire was right here. Oh, right in this, like right here. Okay. You can see. Three companies already in here working. We have 44s, 42s, and 35s. 33s? 33s, okay. 35s to a forcible entry a little bit further down. Okay. And this is 32s. Got it. So as you could see in this video, there was a small area of very intense flames that Engine 44 was able to control very quickly with their two and a half inch diameter hose line. The bigger problem was that this whole building was full of smoke and required searches. Staff on scene didn't have an exact number of people who were supposed to be inside the building, so we didn't know if everybody was accounted for. It took quite a while for firefighters to search that building, and thankfully everyone had safely evacuated before firefighters arrived. There was no smoke inhalation and no injuries occurred. Fire investigators did a thorough examination of the area that burned, but they were unable to determine exactly what caused that fire.
Hey everyone, we're here at Station 12 today. If you remember last month, we had our Fire Prevention Week Helmet Shield Contest, and we are gonna present the winner their shield later this afternoon. The artist was a resident here in Littleton, and he is gonna be surprised this afternoon from the Station 12 crew who wore his helmet shield all week long. And while we're here at Station 12, we're gonna go talk to Selena, one of our community risk reduction specialists, more about Fire Prevention Week. Let's go. Okay, let's see if she's in there. Selena, we're here, PIOs have arrived. Hi, how is everyone? Good to see you guys. So this month is Fire Prevention Month, which in risk reduction is such an important month where we focus on the number one cause of home fires. And in our district, and in fact in the nation, cooking is the number one cause. So we want to remind you to keep your head in the game uh, so one second can make all the difference and stay focused on what you're cooking at home. We all have to cook, we all have to eat, and that's a great time to focus on fire safety. So you might see our safety message on a billboard or we may have seen you at station 20 during the open house. We even had a safety tour throughout the district. So it was wonderful to see a lot of you guys there. Mm, but you might also see us on the news because this is newsworthy. Hey everybody, we are so excited because Connor, Kristen, and myself are at Fox 31 and Channel 2 News Yay. talking about fire prevention. We, we're going to take you inside in a second, but first... the number one risk factor. Now we've talked a lot about forest fires and wildfires, but honestly, it's what's on your kitchen stove that could have a big impact and we want to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. So we're here with Kim and Connor with South Metro Fire Rescue. Thank you so much for being here, first of all. Obviously, we can't be trusted with real fires, so we got this little uh, fake flames here going on. Okay, so what is the number one tip people need to know? Well, first I'm going to tell everybody, Chris, I need you to put a lid on it. Oh, You've been waiting all morning to talk about that. All morning, you hear all that? morning. <laughs> Goes, I'm going to tell you to put a lid on it. So many people want me. So what, what is the so, point? The point you're trying to raise is well, you see flame. So we know that cooking is the number one cause of home fires in right. the entire world. Right. And you have to make sure that you're going to match your extinguishing system or your plan with the fire. If we put water on that fire, it's going to explode. Don't add water to no a stove water. fire. No water. But I should try to deprive it of oxygen. Exactly. You need three ingredients for any fire. Really and this is not the cooking recipe you want. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. So when we put that lid on that fire, we're taking away the oxygen. Big, All right, big that's some good, good advice there. People aren't going to forget now that they heard you, you know, tell Chris to put a lid on. <laughs> Absolutely. Right now. Absolutely. Are, are these Hold just for decoration or are there all, things we need to know about things like uh, olive oil and Italian herbs? Well, the Italian herbs is because of my heritage, but really, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the, anytime you're t uh, cooking with grease, we want to make sure that we're especially careful. This is Fire Prevention Week, and we know that cooking is the leading cause, and so we're trying to c tell all of our community to keep your head in the game and stay focused. What else should folks know? I mean, I think it's really a cool point, way to, way to put out a fire. Anything else in the kitchen we need to know about? It's, have you heard of distracted driving? Yes. There is something called distracted cooking. Uh -huh. So Parents maybe we're watching one. a certain game and we know one second can make the difference between a win and a loss. So if we don't get distracted, we keep our head in the game, we can make sure that no fires start in our home. Make, All right, that's some sense. good input there. Makes any any most common mistakes people are making? I heard one time that you should keep the handles away yeah, from the outside. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know about you, but I am a klutz. And so yeah. I like to keep all my handles, this one especially, <laughs> um, I want to keep all my handles away so I don't accidentally bump that Ladies, install. Ladies, you are the best. All right, Thank good you good for advice. everything you do. Thanks I won. So I won. All right, coming up next. So I don't know if you remember, but last month we did a fire prevention week contest. Yeah, and you submitted. Mm -hmm. One. You did, and the whole crew is here to congratulate you. And one of them even wore your shield all last week. Look at that. That's so nice. Yeah, it's awesome. You did a great job. So have you met the crew before? 
I just love the Colorado flag. I find that the Colorado flag is just like a cool flag. It's pretty like sweet. The, yeah. Like meaning behind it and stuff. Um, obviously, I had to have this off Metro logo. Hi, I'm Bryce Goldinger, or as some of you may know me, Colorado Fire EMS. Um, I'm very grateful to win this shield, but life's not always about winning. Sometimes you have unfortunate events, such as like a fire in your house, and not everyone's gonna know what to do. So the best thing to do to keep you and your family and pets safe is to have a place to go. So if there's ever an emergency in your house, let's say um, you just like accidentally burn some food, um, there's no fire and there's some just some smoke and you need to clear out the house. Make sure there's a, a point and like outside your house where there's fresh air and safe distance from your house where you can meet your family, make sure you have everyone, make sure everyone's okay, and then wait for first responders to arrive. So my shield is obviously the Colorado flag and South Metro logo because that's our that's the district I'm in and the state. So it's Fire Prevention Week 2022, which is a week in October based off of how to stay safe. Um, so here we have a house that's on fire, which is a disaster, which can cause a lot of stress. And if you don't have like a plan, you're not gonna know what to do. So what my family and I have is our mailbox outside our house. So if there's ever a fire or we need to like all get out of the house, we meet at our mailbox and we can make sure everyone's there and safe and then so I fire, leave, meeting point. Make sure you have one. Editor Eric here. I almost forgot to mention apparatus updates and we have a few for you. The biggest one being that four brand new medic units are now in Colorado here for South Metro and they're being upfitted as I make this video. Those four units will be going to Medic 13, Medic 211, Medic 46, and Medic 42, and then there's five more Medic units that'll be here before the end of the year. Those will go to Medic 41, Medic 11, Medic 17, Medic 15, and Medic 18. We've also had some questions about what will happen to the old Engine 40 and Engine 47. Those are the big tandem axle 1,500 gallon water tank pumpers. Those are going to be the new training academy engines and two of the old academy engines are actually going to be sold. I know people are excited to see the brand new engine 40 and 47 and so we'll be sure to bring those to you in a Fleet Friday coming up. Now, back to 12. Since we're at station 12, we decided to do our patch shout outs here and I have a special guest doing patch shout outs today. We've got Selena here. Selena, what patches do you have? So today I've got cell block 23, South Metro Fire, and I've got Whitesboro, Texas. We've got Ruxbury, New Jersey. And of course we had to include the Station 12 Risk Reduction Battalion 2 Safety Siren, which is mine. Nice. Thank you. All right, I've got three. I've got the Denmark Emergency Management Agency. All mine are from uh, outside the US, how about awesome. that? This one is from Lipstadt, Germany. I had the pleasure of having a ride along from Germany and brought this to me in person, super cool. And then this one might be the first ever that we've gotten from Africa. So this is from South Africa and it's the West Coast Fire Department. Very cool. Thank you to everybody who sent patches to us. It's so awesome to hear from all of you and learn about the agencies that you're sending these from. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that for us and we'll see you on the next video. I'm just gonna talk about, because so it's like two different themes. Say hi to the people of the vlog. Hello, hi everybody. Welcome, welcome to 12. What are you doing? Vlogging. Shoot a vlog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you you might actually be in the vlog now. That's exciting. Really? Well, I don't know if Eric doesn't cut you out. Fire courage. Mm -hmm. Do you know this year's theme? Find an es find an find escape. Find a oh. meeting place in case of emergency. That is not the theme. What was the theme again? <laughs> don't put that in there. This year's theme was don't wait, plan your escape. Awesome. Yeah.